Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to show you a few comparisons of Vice City stories on PSP and PS2, and who knows, there might be a little more differences. Um, this is on the PS2. I just got the game with my PS3. And let's, I'm going to show you this like gun right here. It's a pump-action shotgun called the Stubby Shotgun. And listen to the sound differences. This, listen. Now we're gonna try the PSP. Uh, I can't really aim the PSP. Ah. See the difference? The reason why is because I guess when Rockstar was developing the uh, game, they just got lazy and they decided to add the Spaz 12 to the PS2 version. Another thing would be the Little Willy helicopter. This is the PS2 or PS3. Sorry if you can't see it well. Pay close attention to the blades. We're going to take a look at the PSP version. Right here. See the difference between the blades? I might turn the brightness on. If you don't believe me, I'll show you. Another thing I found out is both of the seaplanes sound very different. For instance, if you put the front of the plane, like if you point the camera at the front of the plane, it will have a different sound. I can understand that the blades don't have that crispy, shadowy look because they have to change the textures to put it on the PS2. But listen to that weird sound. Then if you put it in the back, then put it in the front. Now let's check the PSP version. I can't really do it any better. Damn boat. As you can see, there's the front of the plane. But there's no weird sound. Before I get started, yeah, I know. The vehicle is special, but... I'm not going to do a video covering the special vehicles, but here's one thing, the ghost boats have returned. You know the little boats in Vice City? How do I zoom in? Okay, here we go. They're actually just shadows that are really far away, and you can't get to them because they're blocked off. In the PSP version, they don't return though. Let me show you. This is what happens when you have an old copy. I'm sure you would have been able to see them miles away. They're just not put in this version. It's pretty useless to put them in this version anyways. Another thing I noticed is that how the Sea Sparrow and the Land, Sea, and Air challenge is started on the PS2. But on the PSP, it's actually not started. Even if I cancel it, it will still be started. But on the PSP version, it's not. See? I haven't even got inside the helicopter on the PSP version. Another thing is... On one of the missions, he uses a cult python. But, on the PSP version... 
can use is a pistol. Now, I can't actually show you on my PSP, but here's the thing. Come at the bot! You lousy piece of crap! You ruined me! Do you require a light? Last but not least is the hunter sound. I don't care if my character looks ugly wearing this, but here's the last part. Now pay close attention to the hunter sound. And tell me if you notice anything. Now we're going to do the PSP version. Machine gun sounds the same. It's going to be a little hard to do. If you can't hear it, I'll put it close to the mic. Now, hold on, let's see. Okay. Now they're both pretty much the same, as you can see. One's graphics is a little nicer, though. I actually have to say, there's no difference between these games whatsoever. Um, the only difference is some minor touches, and sorry for that interruption, but what I tried to say was it's pretty much different in little details, like, you know, you'll have additional vehicles you could buy at safe houses that aren't in the PSP version, and additional challenges, but besides that, they're pretty much the same. Graphics are a little better on the PS2 version because it's bigger than a UMD, so it's more detail added to the blocks and stuff. And it doesn't just look like some crappy sign. But, yeah. It's pretty much the same, pretty much good. I prefer the PSP version because, as I said before, when gym time used to come, I used to just say I had to go to the bathroom and the gym teacher didn't really care and I would just play my PSP the whole hour long until it hit 2.30 and it was time to go home. I didn't like gym, I didn't like basketball. Vice City Stories was the best thing that I ever played. It took me a long time to do the missions and collect the footage, so peace guys, hope you enjoy.